Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Ava or Sai Sai Lifts on Instagram and TikTok and today's video is going to be all about why you may not be seeing the results that you want to be seeing and what you can do to fix that. So without further ado, I'm gonna get right into the video. If you like this kind of stuff, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment down below about what you'd like to see in the future. If you like this kind of stuff or anything else that's on your mind, I like to respond to you guys and talk to you there. And yeah, that's about it. So let's just get into the video. All right, so just like on my channel, I have a video about the top 12 things I wish I knew before I started lifting and started my journey. This is gonna be the top 12 things that you can take a look at to see where you can improve and see where you might be making some mistakes or errors that you might not even realize. The first one is going to be lack of structure or routine. You need to have structure, planning, and routine in your training and in your lifestyle so that you know where you're headed and you're not just walking into the gym without a plan. That being said, the first thing I would recommend is maybe starting with an app or a notebook you use to plan your workouts in advance. Maybe buy someone's program that you like if you don't know what you're doing yet fully and start there. Have a split that you like, something like that. Personally right now my split is PPL, push, pull, leg. That also goes along with me using a certain app to track my workouts. Right now I really like the strong app. It just makes it super easy for me to just plug in the exercises and everything. The next thing will be not properly warming up or cooling down before and after your workouts. It is so important to take care of your body and that also includes stretching. So I like to do some dynamic stretching before my lifts and then static stretching and like holding these positions for longer after my lift. You don't want your warm up to be too long or have you exhausted but it definitely should literally warm up your body. Number three is going to be neglecting or fearing rest and recovery. So many people have this fear of taking a rest day thinking it's gonna set them off balance, off track. It's the exact opposite, okay? Your muscles are literally built in bed. So when you rest, that's when you're giving your muscles the time to repair and recover from your training. Because when you're lifting and you're training heavy, you're literally making micro tears in your muscles. They need to come back together. You need to give them time to rest so that they can rebuild. So, so important. Number four is a little more mental, but it's wishing for results rather than working for them and pushing yourself. Are you really pushing yourself close to failure? Are you really working as hard as you can? Or are you just staring in the mirror waiting to see results? Because I promise you results will come when you stop looking for them. The next really super common mistake is using improper form while using or focusing on the quantity of weight rather than the quality of your performance, okay? Don't be an ego lifter. I've been there, we've all been there, don't do it. I honestly feel like if I wanna go for like four sets of 10 nice good squats with great form and good intention and intensity, I'll use 95 pounds right now and I get a good workout in and I'm growing the peach. Let me tell you, I'm growing her. So use the weight that works for you. That doesn't mean take it easy on yourself, but use weight where you can comfortably use the correct form, but you're still working hard. Make sense? And it's gonna be different for everyone and you're gonna find it for you and the number doesn't freaking matter. No one cares how much you're squatting, but you're gonna care if you got the peach or if you end up injuring yourself because you're using bad form. Just saying. All right, the next one is near and dear to my heart. You're fearing carbs. Let me tell you, just like I said, your muscles are built in bed. Well, they're fed in the kitchen. So if you want them to repair in bed when you are resting, which I mentioned earlier, you gotta feed them so that they have the energy and they can do that. And carbs are so important. I've talked about this on my Instagram before, but you need to replenish those glycogen stores that you are tapping into while you're working out. Carbs are not the enemy, they are your friend. And I love carbs so much. I mean like pretzels and pancakes and french fries and, and everything. Oh my goodness. Carbs. The next one is something I bet a lot of you might be doing, which is getting caught up in all the frilly stuff like the apple cider vinegar shots and the intermittent fasting and this, that. And you're forgetting the basics, the most simple things you need to be doing like proper hydration. Are you drinking a gallon of water a day? I know I am. The next one is super important and it's going to be that many of you might be rushing your workouts and not really tapping into that mind-muscle connection. 
this one you may not initially think of but truly I understand some of us have to rush to get to the gym and we have to get a quick workout in but that doesn't mean you should drop the intention or the intensity of your training okay I'm serious you really want to try to start tapping into that mind muscle connection like I said feeling those workouts and giving it your all just because you have a short amount of time doesn't mean you need to sell yourself short in the gym I love the next one I love it okay this is why you might not be seeing the results you want you think lifting heavy will make you bulky this it peeves me man it gets me so mad because look at me I love heavy and I am a prime example of not bulky let me tell you it's just going to give you the most amazing spectacular body recomp and confidence and feeling strong mentally and physically and emotionally and spiritually in every single way lifting is everything that's why I have this necklace guys lifting is everything lift heavy do it you won't regret it and you know what if it makes you bulky then I I owe you one because it won't <laughs> So number 10 goes off of number nine, and that is you're only doing endless cardio. Cardio, cardio, cardio. Come on, we gotta lift, we gotta lift. The endless cardio is really not gonna change your body at all. Also, maybe you're focusing on the you know, calories you're burning on your watch, which are most likely not even correct. It's not about that, just start lifting. I'm begging you. Another common mistake is that you might be lacking protein in your diet. We really want to be aiming to eat maybe like 0.7 to 1.2 times your body weight in grams of protein. So for me, I eat around one gram of protein per pound of body weight, sometimes even more. Get your protein in. I have a lot of high protein recipes on my Instagram in my eat uh, like highlight or I post some reels and I'm gonna be doing more. I have them even on my TikTok. Get that protein in. And I'm actually so excited because in four days from today, the vegan cinnamon cereal protein from Beam is launching. So it's probably out by the time you're watching this. And it is so delicious. I taste tested it on my story the other day and holy cow, I have all been ready, been having it like twice a day now because I can't stop. It's just, it's too good. All right, the last common mistake you might be making and arguably the most important one is that you're forgetting to root for yourself and be on your own team, not the opposing team. You're forgetting that you need to be your biggest cheerleader. You need to support yourself through this. You need to believe in yourself. And I am not saying that to be cheesy, but you know what, it is cheesy and I love it because you do need to believe in yourself. You need to love yourself and that's where it's gonna come from. You're gonna learn to have self-respect, self-compassion, trust yourself, you're gonna feel strong. I promise you, that's what happened for me, so yeah. All right, you guys, so those are 12 common mistakes you might be making along your journey and how you maybe can go about fixing them. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I had fun making it for you and I really enjoyed just sitting down and talking to you guys. I love that I'm on YouTube now, consistently posting on Thursdays, and I am just very grateful to have you here watching this video if you still are. So yeah, without further ado, no. That would be for the beginning of the video. And I'm not gonna cut this, we're just gonna keep going. So yeah, that's all. <laughs> I love you guys, I hope you love my craziness, and I'll see you next week. Let's crowd heaven. <laughs>